Hi everyone, we're back. Uh, Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm now removing the temporary uh, for this uh, bone level case and uh, then we're going to take a, a look directly at the temporary peak abutments. Uh, there are a lot of companies that are out there that don't have as well defined peak abutments as the Strauman system. Uh, it seems like uh, they're missing the boat when it comes to uh, controlling the the tissue health so I want to describe some of those issues as I remove now the, the these peak abutments so this is the one on tooth number 11 and gauge the uh, we did have cotton and wax I'm just going to loosen them both first and uh, cotton and wax covering the the openings I noticed a little bit of gingival irritation on number 12, more so than the number 11. That one's ready to go. Now before I take these out, okay, they're nice and loose. Before I get rid of those, all right, I want to go over to the model and have my abutments ready to go in. So let's get these guys ready and okay so this is the first one second we're highly polished subgingively and we sandblasted the surface of which the cement is going to be received okay we're back in the mouth Take the first one off, like so, and take a look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's check that out a little more closely. We're going to have a microsuction now inserted. And an air water syringe tip, also in the same diameter. All right, so he's got a little bit of um, maybe surfacing of the graft material. You can see a little bead of blood right there. That might be some of that uh, scaffolding that might have been done in the labial aspect, although there's some on the lingual. Could be some of the graft material that's surfacing. Right, I'm not familiar with which graft material that was used. I can find out for you if you have those questions. Um, now I'm just making sure we're meticulous internally and um, suctioning all the way down perfect and now we'll just gently slide in our first abutment again these are all made by hand okay let's get the first one in there and get that lined up there we go and we'll tighten it down by hand. Does that bother you at all, Joel? We're good. Okay. We're ready to take the next one off. Okay. Uh, undo that. Th well, probably one thread holding it in right now. There it comes. And we'll take another look at that. The tissue looks fairly decent. We'll blow that up on the screen. We're all clear, everything is out of the way. Nice response to the tissue, no collapse whatsoever. And we'll put our next abutment in. So, I'll tell you what, see that little mark right there on the facial aspect of this abutment? You gotta get your lab to do that. That saves you lots and lots of time. If you're doing multiple cases like this, you know, it's 
sometimes all these abutments start to look alike and if your lab marks the outside for you and then marks the model for instance that's a dot okay that's a dot this one's a slash so you got a dot and a slash so you know that by when you look at the model you'll see they marked it a dot and a slash so you know which ones are go where all right so the first one I put in had a slash the other one is a dot double check first one is number tw 11 slash dot on 12 so now you know I'm gonna hand tighten again you always want to take a post-operative x-ray after you tighten down the abutments before you cement your bridge take an x-ray take a bite wing x-ray you want to make sure you you got a perfect seat okay so right now we're not ready to cement we're ready to try in the fixed prosthesis and check uh, the contacts alright so we're going a little lighter with shade anticipating later on either bleaching or lightening the front teeth etc now first things first I'll check the contact there's a little shredding there so we'll adjust for that and that this still snaps nicely without any shredding so right here you feel a little tightness in the front Joel yeah, yeah just right up here in the front so I'm gonna mark it with a little graphite right now I'll dry off the tooth and you can do it one of two ways you can put a little bit on the tooth or a little bit right here this is a real highly glazed surface so I'm gonna place just a little bit on the corner a little bit will come off of small amount to come off onto the mesial surface of, of the bridge and usually what that is is some glaze now we went right from a framework try-in to a glaze we did not have a bis try -in, so I don't know what the occlusion is going to be like until we know what it's like all right so I'm going all right There we go. Does that feel better to you now? Yeah. Yeah. And we're good back there. Super. All right. Now, checking margins. One of the places I like to check is the lingual margins because they're usually right at the tissue level. And so the lab will give you enough room to check for that. You know, if you sink them very subgingival, you're going to end up with um, not being able to visualize. Uh, I use a microscope, so I'm able to see. Now, there's my margin on 12, and 11 is right here. So we're in good shape. Got a little bit of blanching right here, so a little bit of pressure. We probably will adjust for that. Uh, the, one of two things I can do, I can leave this in for five minutes and if this blanching goes away, I, I want a little positive pressure there so I don't want to catch food in this zone and that'll keep food from penetrating uh, that area. He's got sluice way areas, nicely done. So you can stick a, uh, a rota point through there and keep it clean or proxy brushes. Alright. Nice labial contours that are consistent all the way in the back. And nice contours coming up from the facial aspect of the gingiva. So I don't have any complaints as far as uh, overall structure. Now we'll check the function. So go ahead and close down gently. Tap, tap, tap. We'll hear a little mark that we have to adjust. Uh, many times what I'll do, instead of making the adjustments now, we'll do, we'll torque down the implants and then place the, uh, the bridge and then recheck the contacts and we'll do all that um, in between this segment and the next. Alright, so we'll give you another station break and Doc gets a little break here in the chair and we'll pick this up when we're getting ready to cement, placing retraction cord, etc. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.